Jackson, you uh kind of been on the shelf for a long time, man. The knee injuries and stuff. What's it been like to kind of work back in the flow over the last month and get meaningful reps too? Uh, it's been great, you know. Um, the injury, you know, was last year, and you know, so I put it behind me. You know, Rick and those guys, they did a great job in the training room. Um, you know, helped me with everything I needed. So um, with just that, you know, what I'm saying that's in the past. So I'm just looking forward. So it's been great. Does it still hurt or no more pain? Oh, no more pain. They no did a great sweat. job. Great job. No swelling either. So it's uh, yep. Good. Yep. All right, well, sir. What was the rehab process like? Had you ever been through anything like that? Uh, no, I haven't. You know, I've never missed. Uh, a season of football. So um, the rehab process, it, I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult than it actually was, you know. So um, that's credit to, you know, Rick and Aaron and, you know what I'm saying, everyone in the training room. So they made it an easy process. Um, so, yeah. Is there, go ahead. is there anything you learned about yourself in going through that process and how hard it was for you to stay out and not, not be out there with your teammates? Um, yeah, I learned that, um, you know, sometimes we're not, you know, as <clears throat> focused or as hungry as we, we may think. So, you know, just going through that and being away from football and everything like that, it, it made me realize that, you know, I, there's still a lot of work I can do, you know, being in the film room and, you know, lurking, working on those little things of, you know, what I'm saying being in the NFL. So just working with film and everything like that, that, that made me better. When you uh, suffered the injury, did you know immediately it was bad? Uh, no, I actually didn't. Uh, adrenaline was going, you know, I was my first NFL game. So my adrenaline was going and, uh, you know, I just kind of played. In that game, did you? In what you played, did you get good feedback from coaches? Like, did you hear? Did they tell you you played well in that game? Yeah, they told me I played well, and um, they also told me that you know what I'm saying there's still a long way to go. Yep. So <laughs> over the last month, you've really kind of shown, I guess, an aptitude for pass coverage. You seem to be around the ball, making mm -hmm. plays in the air. How do you best describe why you've been able to kind of do that when, when the ball's in the air and pass coverage? Um, in college, I did a lot of it in college, you know, um, being man to man on tight ends, playing out in space. Um, I played uh, a Sam linebacker in the 4-3, so I was outside always in space, so I'm kind of comfortable with that. Um, you know, in a 3-4 defense, typically you've got a weak side and a strong side inside linebacker, mm -hmm. and the weak side's chasing a little bit. Yeah. And the strong side's taking on blocks and being kind of, mm -hmm. you know. Could, could you play next to Derek if he's a weak side guy? Or could you be like a strong side inside guy? Uh, yeah, I think uh, coach they do a lot of great things within uh, coaching us to play. You know, both either either linebacker. So um, I believe that that I can do either one of them. So wherever coach and those guys need me, you know, I'm ready to go. When, when it comes to taking on blocks, how do you best defeat them when you are five eleven? Um, can you take him on? Or you I actually, I actually guy? use that as an advantage. You know, I'm lower than than those guys. You know, I'm shorter, so um, it's easier to get underneath them. And I um, also use my speed a lot. Um, you know, going back door and kind of learning from DJ and learning from Josh when he takes on blockers. So get a little bit of both.